Hey guys, Michael B. The Game Genie here, and on today's video, we'll be checking out my very first Replicate 1 6 scale arcade and the latest in this line from New Wave Toys, the Atari Classic Missile Command. <laughs> That's right guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Missile Command Replicate 1-6 scale arcade from New Wave Toys. I am so excited to finally get my hands on a product in the Replicate line as I have heard nothing but praise for the quality and attention to detail they put into their arcade reproductions. I want to say a huge thank you to New Wave Toys for sending this out for the purpose of this review. Now that I have one in hand, let's see if it lives up to its reputation and if this is a mini arcade product you guys should be interested in. So here on my pub table, I have my very first Replicate Cabinet Missile Command, which ships in a nice external box to preserve the real one for complete in box collectors. Alright guys, let's see what is included inside this box. I've got my handy kitchen knife out, which I do not advise as the optimal tool to be using to cut this tape, especially if you don't want to damage what's inside, but it's what I had handy, and now I've got to go and cut the other side to try and get this open. So we finally get through, and what is this? There's another box inside this one, and uh, I'm going to have to struggle to try to get this out. Oh wow, there you have it guys, this is so cool. This is like uh, what the actual arcade machine would have been shipped in. If anybody's ordered a pinball table from Stern in the little, last little while, you would have seen very similar box to this and this is what the original arcades came in. So now of course this box opens completely different than the other box. And there inside you can see we're finally down to the actual replicate box. This is the collector box you would put up on your uh, wall if you're a collector. Uh, we're gonna move this awesome box down here and there you have it. There's the actual Missile Command box. Finally. So here finally is the actual box and it's even wrapped in a plastic wrap to preserve this box. And with the art on the box and all the features displayed I can certainly see why collectors would want it protected in such a fashion. So guys, now that we're down to the final box, we think, now we have to get the plastic seal off the box. And of course, that's not working for me either. <laughs> so I'm going to get my knife out again, find a seam very gently, hopefully not damage anything inside. I'll get the saran wrap or plastic loose, and we can finally start to take this thing apart. And I can't wait to see what's included in the box. Again, this box is absolutely beautiful. Replicate do a, such an amazing job with the packaging the details going down to that collector's box and now of course this box so the plastic wrap off the table and there you have it there's the replicate box in all of its glory and let's try to get this thing open we assume it opens much like the last box did of course I'm gonna struggle with it a bit because this is my first replicate and guys there we go look at that inside it's the side of the cabinet it's gorgeous as soon as we open it up we can see here we've got a little uh, plastic baggy included inside is the owner's operator's manual and my tokens which I'm going to show you guys now. Let's open this up. So guys here's your instruction guide made to look like an owner's manual and of course those tokens I just mentioned these are so cool. Alright included in the first piece of foam is a USB to micro USB cable which I'm assuming we're gonna need for charging then when we take back that layer of foam of course here it comes the replicate unit itself completely covered in foam to make sure it arrives in perfect shape this thing is gorgeous And that is everything that comes included in the box with your Missile Command Replicate. Only thing missing, in my opinion of course, is a power brick which I do wish more companies would include. I will give them a bunch of credit for the extra details they do include such as the awesome instruction manual that they went out of their way to make look like the original operator's guide as well as the inclusion of the tokens which is such an awesome touch. 
Moving on to the machine itself, and if you are a classic arcade enthusiast, this one will make you very happy, as it is a near-perfect recreation of the original Missile Command in the 1-6 scale. The form factor is so unique with the slanted area for the marquee and very distinct shape. The artwork on the side is tremendous and the beautiful colors of the art seemingly pop off of the white sides. The artwork and theme of the cab were so perfect for 1980, coming at the beginning of the Cold War and showing the struggle on the minds of most Americans. The color scheme they used as well seems to perfectly represent the transition from the 70s into the 1980s. The back of the cabinet is like the reverse mullet where it's party in the front and business in the back. Here is where all your functional stuff lies. You will notice the solitary speaker grill which outputs an impressive mono sound for the cabinet recreating the sound of the original. Towards the top you will find the push power button and dial for controlling the volume. Towards the bottom you will find a micro USB cable port for charging the machine that is battery powered. Turn the machine around, hold the power and watch it light up in so many different places. If there is one aspect I keep mentioning about Replicate and this arcade, it's the amazing attention to detail and I am in love with all the lighted elements of this arcade. Of course I have to start with the marquee as it is beautiful and yet very subtle, nestled between two speaker grades. The light distribution is even with no hotspots and no washout of the colors on the marquee. While very plain color wise, the art is very nice and the Missile Command logo itself really stands out. I am a sucker for nostalgia and history, and this just hits all the right points for me. Moving down to the next set of visible lights is on the coin door, and it's so funny not to say faux, as this is actually a functioning coin door. You actually have to press the light up coin return buttons on this panel to coin into the game, and I just think that is such an awesome feature. The control panel also has a lighted feature, but it's one that makes sense, and not something tacked on unnecessarily like a light up deck. Now this one actually features lit volcano style buttons for the player 1 and 2 start that again are actually usable to start your game and once again I have to say wow, it's this attention to detail that makes the overall experience so special. The control panel is an exact recreation of the control panel from the original Missile Command arcade in the 1-6 scale down to every detail including the three other volcano buttons used to launch missiles from each of the bases in their correct alignment, as well as the world's tiniest and functioning trackball. While the control panel is extremely small, it is still super usable and surprisingly comfortable as I found controlling the game to be relatively easy and I never had any ergonomic issues or missed inputs. The trackball is pretty accurate as well and I could get it to move where I needed it to go relatively easy. While it isn't as smooth as a GRS trackball, it still worked pretty well. Then we move on to the screen and this is where this review may get somewhat controversial as New Way Toys have included a new feature to this replicate unit not seen in previous units and they have added a lens over the screen to manipulate how the items on the screen appear. This convex lens that they have placed above the screen is supposed to better imitate the look you would get from a classic CRT and some people may absolutely love its inclusion and consider it to be another one of those above and beyond elements like all the lights or included tokens that make the machine so special. I personally am not a fan of CRT or softening filters and while I certainly appreciate the effort that they have went to here, the fact that this is basically a forced screen filter kind of bums me out and I wish it was an option instead as all screen filters should be. Don't get me wrong, I still think the picture looks great but I do find that the lens itself does pick up reflections from light sources around the room that sometimes impacts my visibility on the screen. If you can see past the screen lens, you do get a beautiful 4x3 aspect ratio horizontal screen with great colors and no visible washout or discolorization from angles. For anybody wondering about issues with the game, I can confirm that the replicate version of Missile Command is playing the original arcade ROM and it seems to be running like it should from my play experience so far. I haven't noticed any lag as gameplay is as fast and frantic as you would expect from Missile Command. Audio is perfect from the enhanced mono sound and ties in perfectly with the action you are seeing play out on the screen. Most importantly, it's really freaking fun and personally I am having a blast playing this little recreation and I think hardcore fans of Missile Command will dig it too. Well guys, that's my look at the Missile Command Replicate from New Wave Toys and guess what? Everything I heard about this company is true and I have to say this is an awesome little product. I'm blown away by the attention to detail that New Wave Toys put into their arcade recreations and I can see why arcade enthusiasts and fans have gone out of their way to purchase every entry in the Replicade series so far. Missile Command from Atari is such an important release in arcade history 
and New Wave Toys have done more than do it justice here with this release. The only problem, of course, is the inclusion of the convex screen without it being an option to take it away. Even though it's there to create a look of a CRT filter, it does that, but it's not for everybody. So hopefully going forward, they provide some kind of option to remove this if you so choose. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think of the Missile Command Replicate from New Wave Toys? Is this a product you're interested in? Have you picked one up? And if not, tell me why in the comments below. Anyways, guys, once again, thank you so very much for watching. This is Michael B. The Game Genie, and I'll see you guys next time.